Okay guys, this is Rob from the Stonehouse Brewery and we're going to give you a little tour of our counter pressure bottler that we set up. Um, this is just a regular morebeer.com counter pressure uh, bottling assembly that you can buy from them um, and that's just this part right here. Um, all we did is mount it onto a frame that you can see here uh, with an adjustable height so we can do 12 ounce, we can do 22 bombers, we can do 32 ounce with this unit. Um, I mounted it onto a hinge, if you can take a look at it down there. So you can see this whole thing just swings right out. And that's just a basic hinge you can get from Granger or your local hardware store. Um, this is just a block of plastic Delrin, you can use anything you want, a piece of wood I guess. Um, so basically you can just slide the bottle in and out, and you'll see that uh, upcoming in the, in the video. Um, this side, right side's gas valve. This is our single uh, three-way valve. So to the right is putting gas into the bottom of the bottle. To the left is to your fluid side, and here's your fluid line. And as you can see, that baby's going right down into the keyserator and connecting to the, uh, the uh, corny that we want to bottle up today. Um, this unit actually came from uh, more beer with a regulator right here and that just didn't work out. It made a big mess. Uh, it was hard to control back pressure with it with a spring that was in there. You had to pull it apart and clean it all the time. I replaced that with just a straight valve. This allows us to contr control the back pressure and that's how this thing works is counter pressure. So the most important thing when you're setting up one of these things is that your beer pressure is always going to be slightly more than what your CO2 pressure is. Otherwise, when you pressurize the bottle uh, with some fresh CO2 and you had too much back pressure on there, it'll force the beer back into your into your uh, your corny. So that's basically the setup. You can see how I mounted that on there. All this stuff just came from a regular hardware store. It's really no big deal to get. You can anybody can do it. There's nothing fancy about this whole thing. The actual bracket and everything I, I made, of course, you know, and it's all TIG welded and all that, but you can make this out of anything. It doesn't have to be anything fancy like what I've done here. Um, anyway, in a second we'll show you how this whole thing works, but uh, that's it for now. Thanks. Okay, we're recording. All right. This is Tim of Stonehouse Brewery, and he's doing some bottling for us right now using this bottler. See how quick and easy, easy it is to, to use. Quick switch to the right on the valve and it puts some CO2 in the bottom and then switch to the left and we've got beer going in. Uh, whatever foams in there is being handled by a little bit of back pressure on the, uh, the drain ball valve. And then when you pull it off, there it is, it's ready to go. And of course, if you have somebody on the uh, here, which I'm supposed to be doing, you'll be cranking this thing out. You know, it's, it doesn't take long at all to uh, pack and bottle doing this. You can be allowing it to fill like we got here right now. Uh, you can reduce the speed at which it's filling. You just finished it uh, by controlling that valve, that back pressure valve. So you don't have to allow it to go very really fast, or you can let it go fast. And then when the foam builds up, all you do is is re increase the back pressure by tightening up your valve there and that keeps you from losing a bunch of foam and, and beer. Of course we just have this line going straight down off the end of that valve. It's just going straight down into a bucket. You can actually put it into a to a, a, a jar or something if you want to save that. But as you can see it fills out right to the top. A uh, little bit of foam that does come up pushes out any excess air and uh, it's it's pretty fast. I mean, it's just so much better than using a Blickman beer gun. Not that there's anything wrong with a Blickman, but boy, it's hard on your hands if you do quite a bit of bottling, which we do. So um, this this makes it a lot easier, and one person can do it. While it's you can you can reduce the output uh, so that you have time to go over and do the the actual capping, 
over here and then you can walk right back and you're still in process uh, with, the, with the valve, the, the bottling, the filling. So you can actually control that fill right here just by putting a little more back pressure, it'll slow it right down. And you can see it's very slowly coming up. Most of that is being saved as far as pressure goes and you can shut it off. So it's pretty nice, it works really good, it's a lot easier. It's not hard to build. You don't have to make this thing out of a TIG welded stainless, whatever, like I've got here. You can make it out of wood. You can make it out of plastic. There's a lot of things you can do here. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, this isn't unobtainium for a home brewer. This is something that you can, you can build if you have any kind of skills at all as far as, as making something. So anyway, just thought it would give you a little closer view of what this looks like and how it's set up. And hope you enjoy it. Thanks.